favorite Tim Burton characters, scenes, lines of dialogue, anything like that? Well, you know, I'm such a fan of Tim's that in a way, the same way that uh, you would judge uh, a painter's work, um, every period has, has such a, a strong uh, sensibility uh, that it's hard for me to, to, to say I like one better than the other. What I love about his work, um, which I feel is, is, is sort of very thematic throughout his work, is the fairy tale aspect. And uh, there are characters that are not necessarily um, part of society, they're different. Um, and, and how they are able to break through that sort of mold which restricts them. Uh, because they're so individual, um, and um, and 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 be accepted, finally. And this is a story about a, a woman's emancipation. So that's that's really what I love about his work, and and also his drawings and his paintings. And how about your character in particular in this? Because I'm sure there's a million reasons to sign on to do a Tim Burton movie. But what is it about him that made you think you were the right guy for the role? Are you gonna have to ask, ask Tim that. I will. <laughs> yeah, I don't what know. made you confident in yourself made, then? <laughs> um, well, I'm not. I didn't feel particularly confident, but what I what I felt was very excited to be working on a film with, with Tim. I probably would have agreed to a, any character, uh, um, I, you know, just just to work with him. Um, and. Uh, uh, but I, I did find something fun about uh, the character, Dick Nolan, that I'm playing. He's this reporter. He's a bit of a sort of gossip columnist, sort of tabloidy kind of guy. And, and he believes that he's, he can create uh, uh, fame for people. Um, and uh, maybe he says a few lies here and there, but he kind of creates a story, creates that mythology around them. Um, but little did he, does he know, little that does Nick Nolan know, that he's being manipulated by Christoph Waltz's character. You have the best voice for a narration part, too. Oh, thank like you. You should just narrate everything. <laughs> That'd be good. I could just stay at home and do narrations <laughs> over the phone or something. Yeah. I'd be cool with that. <laughs> oh, so I read you. that you looked back at some of Tim's movies to find the balance between real and, I guess, like kind of hyper-real. Can you mm. tell me a little bit about which films you look to for that? Um, you know, I didn't do that kind of research. I didn't, I didn't look at I just, I know them all. Um, and uh, I, I mean, there was no particular one. His work is just all so, so rich in, 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 in texture that it would, be, it would have been hard for me to convert the immensity of his work to create Dick Nolan. Dick Nolan, not, not that he's in primary colors, uh, but he, you kind of see what, what he is. And, and uh, he's, he's, he's not, uh, I mean, I suppose he is a character that has a certain amount of depth because he's a character, but on the page, he kind of serves the story. He has his own agenda, though. Yeah. There, there's some layers to his thought process yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. He's kind of hard-boiled. And know? how is it working with him as an actor's director on set? Is there anything about his process that surprised you? Um, He's just so, just, he's a gentleman. He's just so, so, such a gentle man. Um, and a lot of times talent doesn't convert to uh, uh, a wonderful human being. <laughs> uh, but in this case, it certainly does. Yeah, I must say, I, I, just, I just love the guy. You know? And now, of I, I hate flattering people. I hate flattering people, but in this case, I kind of have to. He deserves it. Yeah. Now, can you tell me a little bit about American Horror Story? Because I'm a big fan, and of course I had to ask. And we just saw you in Episode 8 of Freak Show, and twice, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of almost in like a narration-type capacity, too. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, possibly, yeah. There's a backstory between Jessica Lange's character and mine. Yeah. And are we going to see more of both of them? Because you're the voice of the psychologist, too, right? Um, well, I can't really answer that, but you may, you may see me in, uh, in following episodes.